Cool. So, got my cuppa. You join me back to the Moby. I've done a few things since, well, it's been a while, isn't it? Unfortunately, a few things have happened in the UK and the rest of the world, which means I've been doing other things apart from this. And, uh, you know, so there's a few delays. But uh, today, hopefully, well, I won't look today, because I'm still waiting on uh, the points and condenser for this. But for what I thought I might do is um, take the carb off, see what that's like. Um, the tank looks, well, it was the cap taking the cap off, but the tank looks pretty dry, so I don't think it's going to be massively furred up or whatever. We'll see. So off in a bit. And then I want to. Um, I just want to do carb off. Let's do that. What I also did um, since last being on, I did this up, and then I undid the bolt and tapped it with a hammer. And now that's all loose, so it's cool. Um, that was all done. That's it, really. Right, so I'm going to get the cob off now, have a quick look at that, and um, hopefully those bits will come soon. We can get her going, innit? Okay, here we go. So we've got the, got the cob off. It's pretty clean. Um, pretty simple, these things, aren't they? We've got a idle adjustment. Where the main jet and your float bowl. Okay, so let's get his main float bowl off. That's pretty loose now. Okay. Okay. So the light is a bit of shit light, unfortunately. Like in there, Ooh, little filter, mm, crusty, so like, yeah, it's got some goo in it. Sorry, I can't, it's not very good light in here. Should probably have a light set up, but I'm inside because there's lots going on outside, lots of noisy. But it's got goo all over it. Like it looks like, like white, white powdery stuff. So that's going to be cleans. I think it's a very simple. I've had these before, up part before my other, another one. This is a very simple float needle. I think is that way. I think it. Open and closes as a float like that basically. Fuel comes in there. Yeah, fuel comes in that bit. I think it's lit up. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> forget where to get apart now. Well, there's that point is up or down. Anyway, that's nasty. Is it clean? What's you got? Da, 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 da. That jet out. And you screw over. There's a bit over here. Let's have a look at this. <coughs> Sticky. through that. <coughs> okay, so that's blocked up as well. It's a simple one. So I need to get something in there. And I haven't got the luxury of a ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm just going to give it a good clean with car cleaner. Make sure all the patches are clean. All three of them, where they are, not many on here. And, uh, 
get back to it. Okay. Right, you joined us a few days later in noisy suburbia. Everyone's doing DIY now. It's uh, lockdown in the UK, so I'm outside my little boy, there's his feet, and my little one of the pretty cats, Fido. In a few days, and the carb is back on, nice and clean. Um, well, it should be done. Carb back on, and we've had a delivery. Well, we had a delivery, and some of my the points and condenser arrived. There we go. Um, the carb was really dirty. I just saw in the last vid. Cleaned it all out. Uh, cleaned all, cleaned all the slide. Cleaned the the main jet that was blocked. And the float goes up and down. Float floats. It's all good. You know. So, so I fit the points. Uh, it wasn't as straightforward as I imagined. One because I didn't have any sort of reference, and I find it really hard online to find any sort of information. Uh, as far as wiring diagrams go, so I asked a few people on the website, well, Facebook, Moped group, and finally got there. So, all three wires, condenser, all three wires go to the single block on the points, and then you adjust, okay, Bob, all right, and then you adjust uh, the points, um, so, all right, Bobby, mate. So the gap here is no more than 0.35 mil, okay. Um, but that's not it. I I thought that'd be it. But um, like on most machines, I found like this like this C70 for example, you set the points, and that is the timing. But not so on this French machine. They do it slightly differently, don't they? Because you've got your point set up, which is cool. But for the timing itself, you've actually got to set. If it's not set already, this was slightly off. You've actually got to remove this with this puller, okay? Pull it off, it slides off there, and you've got to set it so the point just open when the piston is two millimeters before um, top dead center. So basically what you do is, what, what I did, I got a drill bit, Popped it in there. Yeah, Bob, I know, my boys have a oh, I'll laugh there. Basically, you can see the, uh, you can see, well, it's, it's hard to do with one hand, but you can see, you can see the piston, that's the piston moving up and down, okay? Oh, you're talking, aren't you, Bob? Yeah, you can see this moves up and down as I move the crank, okay? And then what you do, you have a ruler at the back here, with millimeters, imagine this is all straight, and you can see, you'll be able to see this, the piston go up and down, and you want basically that, when it's two mil down before top dead center, that is when you want these points just to start opening. Okay, and you can test that by either by sight, or you can do it by linking up, taking all the all of the con connections off of the points apart from the one to the coil, which happens to be this grey one here, and then have a multimeter from disconnect that cable there to the coil from there, and then one to the body of there, and then. You should be able to see continuity, whether it be a buzzer or an ohms reading, to see when the points are open and closed. So I've done all that, okay, and we've got a spark. I shall show you! And yes, Bobby's being a very noisy little fellow over there. <laughs> I'll give him some more grapes or something. Okay, so, I'm just going to show you we've got the spark. Okay, so. This back on. This is reverse thread. So undoing is screwing up. And then with my 
trust the impact. Okay, so I also had some problems with getting the spark before. So I've taken all this off and I've cleaned the points up here. That's where the that's where the uh, coil earths the body. Okay, so that's a lovely. Right. A spark! There you go. I'm not sure you can see that on camera, but I've got a spark there. So I'm gonna mix up a bit of two stroke, pop it down here, then we'll see if we can there's no reason why it shouldn't start. It's good compression, spark. That's cool. Time is on, to my knowledge. I think it's I think it's okay. Because um, it either said 1.5 or 1 or, or 2 mil. I went for 2 mil. So we'll see how it goes. Right, so spark plugs back in, connected. Um, all connected. I filled the the fuel line up. I pulled it off, pulled it off the tank. Filled the fuel line up with uh, some two stroke mix. I wasn't sure what this one takes, so I've played it safe and put a little bit extra. So it might be a bit smoky if it starts. Okay. Um, I believe this one up here is a enrichment lever, which is like a crude choke. So I've got a drill on the side. Here we go, that enrichment in. And okay. Ooh! There you went. Okay, we well, should went for a bit then. So I'll take it off the stand. I reckon that's only pretty good, isn't it? I reckon if I get it going again, it's hard to do it to one hand. So look here. A bit of revs. Now I need to give it some revs. Oh, I'll put it back on the stand again and see if we can get it ticking over. Okay. Let's try and get a little bit more juice. I presume we've still got some in there. Seems to be. Okay. More reps. <laughs> need a little bit more fettling. Uh, I'll probably do that now and I'll get back onto it and see, see how she's doing. Cool, so I'm happy with that. Um, uh, it seems to be very okay. I think that fuel mixture is slightly uh, too on the oily side, shall I say. So, but she's run, so that's cool. But there's more. There's other things I want to do before I, you know, do some fine tinkering. But saying fine tinkering, that that's only got idle adjustment. That is it, and that's just by abrasion and knowing the, the um, slide. I'm still waiting on a new a pedal for this. I sort of found a couple of the people that could supply, but um, there's also a guy that's helped me out. Um, so hopefully he can, he can send me one. One of those. A, bicycle, a chain which is the same as um, like British three speeds or single speed bicycles so I found out um, and I'm gonna have a go at those forks take them off or maybe just see if I can bend them out but that's all for today anyway um, yeah it continues so I'll um, be back soon with another video with those bits <laughs>